Hello all, and I'm here with a short video on how to join ropes. So over the course of this video we'll be looking at the square or reef knot, the sheet bend and the zeppelin bend. So we start with the square knot and the way I like to do it is that I first create a loop on my left hand, I take the line from the opposing side, I bring it up through the loop, around the back of that loop and again down inside that loop and pull those through and that creates a square knot. And as you can see a square knot really is just two interlocking loops that's all I really created there so I'll just show you again from scratch so again we have a loop on one side bring the opposing line up through that loop bring it right around the back and down inside that loop again and we pull all those tight and that creates a square knot so that's method one so method two which some might find a little bit easier is that we will start with overlapping lines like this we'll take the line at the bottom the yellow line and we just wind it around the white one to create what's known as a half knot. On the top side then, we have the yellow behind the white, we wind it around to create that second half knot on top, and as we pull them through, you see we have a square knot. Again, I'll show you that method one more time. So again, we just cross the two lines with the yellow on bottom, we wind that around the white line to create a half knot, and on the top side, the yellow is behind the white again, and we wind it around to create a half knot on the top, and as we pull those through, we have a square knot. Now the problem with the square knot that I need to stress is that it does have a tendency to slip. So please do not use this for anything where safety is critical. I have to really stress that. Now having said that, there is a way to make this a little bit more secure. So from this position here, as of the two lines crossed, I wind the yellow one around the white. I can then wind it a second time on the bottom only. And on the top side, I again cross them and wind it through once and pull that through and that creates a much more secure version of the square knot now although it is more secure I will stress again do not use this where safety is critical because it will give way at some point okay so that is the square knot the next one we're going to cover then is known as the sheet bend which is the method I prefer so we'll start again with a loop in our left hand we take the opposing line up through that loop around the back and this time what we're going to do is take the tail of that yellow line and slide it under itself on the top side of that loop as you can see and then pull it through and as you apply pressure to this you can see what happens as you pull on this yellow line it clamps down on this tail here so it's a nice secure way of tying, tying two lines together and this is really good actually where you have lines of two different gauges it works really well so for example if you had power cord on this thicker line it would bite up nice and cleanly for you so show that one more time so I'm keeping that loop in my left hand. I bring the opposing line up through that loop, around the back, and with the tail of that yellow line, I'm going to put it under itself here, and pull it through, and tighten it all up. And that is a sheet bend, and that's a nice secure way of attaching two ropes. Sheet bend. Okay? So the final one I'll show you in this video is known as the Zeppelin bend. So for the Zeppelin bend, we're essentially going to create two overhand knots, so everybody's familiar with the overhand knot. We're essentially going to create two overhead knots and interlock them. So the way we do that is by creating what looks like a number six on one line and a number nine on the other line. And what we'll do is we'll put the six on top of the nine. And the reason we're doing that is because we want the tail of the six on this side and the tail of the nine on that side. Now we could put the nine on the six, but in that case, what we need to do is put the tail of the six in the back and the tail of the nine on the front. Okay, that's really important. So in this position, what I'm going to do is take the yellow line and bring it through the back of that loop and pull it through it. As you can see, we just create an overhand knot. And I'm going to take the white line and put it down to there and pull it through. And we just create an overhand knot with a white line. And we pull it all up. As you can see, it becomes a very secure way of attaching two lines. So there's actually no slip or give on that. But the great thing about this one, once the load comes off, it's very easy to release those knots, it doesn't bind up in you. So that's a really, really good way of attaching two lines. So we'll show you again from scratch. So we create a six on one side. We create a nine on the other. We'll put the six on top of the nine. We'll just double check that our tail is on, on the other side. Again, with the white line here, we'll bring it up through that loop. And start to close it up. As you can see, we've just created an overhead knot. 
And with the yellow line then, we come up over here and down through that loop. Again, we've just created two overhand knots. And as we tie it all up, that binds up in itself really good. It's a nice secure line. And so it doesn't get stuck on you. Once you take that load off, it releases very, very cleanly, as you can see. All comes apart nice and clean. Okay, so over the course of that video, we've covered the square reef knot, the sheep bend and the zeppelin bend. Of those three, I definitely recommend the sheet bend for ropes that are different gauges. The zeppelin bend is rock solid. Um, and for the first one, we covered a square knot. Again, repeat, do not use it for anything where safety is critical. Okay, thanks all.